Hey guys, welcome to your sixth Visual Basic programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning more about math operators. Start Visual Basic console application, and let's name this VB Lesson 6. Hit enter. Alright, let's give ourselves some variables. Instead of us declaring them and then initializing them on different lines, we're going to do it all on one line to make things a little faster. So now we're going to say dem b as integer equals 10, dem p as integer equals 2, dem c as integer and then dim d as string single we're going to say c equals a plus b just for old time's sake and then it's going to say console dot right line line one as we say value of c is what's happening to the program now is we're taking a plus b so it's going to be equal to 31 but now what we're going to do is we're going to take c and set it equal to a minus b now what's going to happen when we write it out to the window is it'll say something else because the variable's been called again and what happens is it reruns with its new expression value of c is oh make sure that this is on its own not pressed up against alright now we're going to say d equals a divided by divided by b control v to paste it control x to cut it if you need to do uh, to copy it if you control c to copy it again we're going to say c equals a make it a forward slash this time b change these three and then four and then we're going to say C A mod B and what that means is modulus and what modulus means is, is the remainder so if we had 10 divided by uh, 2 divided by 10 I mean 10 divided by 2 then it would be 5. But if we had 2 divided by 9, we'd have 4.5. That 0.5 would show up as modulus because the modulus is just capturing the remainder. So we're saying A mod B, A modulus B, so we're turning the value of A divided by 10, so we're going to get 0.1. And now we're going to say C equals B upper sign P. And then we're going to give ourselves the console.write line again. Changes to a 5. We're also going to do multiplication. C equals A times B. And then give our value again. Makes four, five, six, and seven. Let's run our code. See what we forgot, guys? We forgot to do console dot right line. Press any key to continue. console.readline 
press the green go button. Make sure you have a C on the ends of these. And now we actually have the values instead of just those uh, weird brackets. In the next tutorial, we're going to begin picking up and we're actually going to begin learning about if statements and how to use them with programs to manipulate data. Alright, see you then.